So I was in a job interview about two weeks ago and the hiring manager told me I needed to dumb myself down. Let's talk about that. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach and uh, forgive the noise. I'm doing this uh, A, entirely from my phone and B, from the uh, Venice Boardwalk today because it's actually a nice day out. There's something about Venice that reminds me of Seaside Heights, New Jersey. I love boardwalk towns. So I had a, had a job interview about two weeks ago, and it was with a company that, that shall go nameless. And, you know, I was talking about my experience and my career goals and my, my background and kind of all the things you're supposed to do, you know, during a job interview. You want to sell yourself as best you can and, and very articulately explain your experience and where you're coming from and where you hope to be going and you know all those good things that that they teach you about in you know life he stopped me in the middle of, of my conversation and it's like you're way too overqualified and you need to dumb yourself down a little bit for future interviews because you're going to scare somebody off and you know that got me thinking do i care should i be worried about like scaring away someone who takes a look at, at what I have on paper and my experience and listens to me talk as a person. And it's like, you know, that guy, that guy's too smart for us. He's got too many things. And I, I realized there's this like inherent fear of hiring a competent and qualified person. Because I think from their perspective, they're worried that they're gonna hire someone that's potentially better at their job than, than they are. And, and it's, it's, it's bizarre. I, I have so many friends out here who are all kind of stuck in this same kind of uncanny valley between being an entry level person with no experience and being you know, qualified for your upper level stuff. And it's, it's the people who are in the middle who no one wants to touch. On the one hand, I could do what this guy's asking me to do and you know, take experience off my resume and, and use smaller words and act like a kind of babe in the woods when I really could talk my way out of a box. Or I just keep doing what I'm doing and see what happens. I don't know. It's a tough choice. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so too. I'm not trying to complain, you know. Certainly not, because you gotta stay positive. You, got, you know that 99% of this business is gonna be rejection, but it's certainly hard when like, you have to choose between like sticking to your guns and doing what you believe in, and that being you know, something that people don't wanna see, or you know, kinda undercutting yourself and underselling yourself to, to appease others. Because you know, I went to school for a long time, so, I'm just trying to digest and process kind of how the priorities of a lot of people who are hiring out here are just kind of backwards, you know? It's just like kind of off. LA is a weird place. Holy shit, these things go really fast. Woohoo! So, I don't know. At the end of the day, just gotta, you know, one day at a time, keep making it work, and eventually something's gonna hit because, you know, it has to. Uh, but the only thing you can do is just stay positive about it and, and you know, hope the next guy doesn't tell you to dumb yourself down. Um, I'm gonna take my little uh, Vive immunity boost shot thing here. Because, you know, I like live in LA and stuff. You gotta be like, vibe organic. Oh man. <laughs> there's, uh, there's some cayenne pepper in that. <laughs> but anyway guys, it's getting dark, so I better go back. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out today. 
please like subscribe and like and all that boring YouTube stuff because it really helps me out. If I can get enough subscriptions, YouTube out here will help me do some really awesome stuff. So I really appreciate it. Uh, until next time, friends, keep on doing it live. And I'll talk to you guys real soon.